Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Bruce Gulland. And I'm Robin Basselin. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. It is a quiet morning in the town of Imphal in India's Manipur state. Slowly the street begins to fill with women. Some are walking together and talking. Others are alone and thinking. One woman stops to pray. Some of the women have walked very far from the country into the city. All of these women are going to the same place. They are going to Ima Kaitel, the market of mothers. Today's spotlight is on this special women's market in India. Nearly 4,000 women sell goods at Ima Koitel Market. Their small stores or stalls sit under four large concrete structures. People can see the market from far away because of the bright red roofs that cover these buildings. Inside, the market is full of women. Many women wear colorful, traditional scarves. Some work as they hold small children. Everywhere, women are talking and laughing. Walking through the market is a beautiful sight. In one area, there are large containers full of all kinds of food. There are fresh fruits and vegetables. There are containers of bright red dried chilies. There are green herbs and other plants. There are also women who make hot food to serve for the lunch meal. You can get fried eggs and sweet puffed rice. If you turn a corner, there are other, less common foods. Large containers hold giant water bugs swimming in water. People eat these insects for their meat. There are also tables covered with many different kinds of small, dried fish. Around another corner, you see cloth made of every color you can imagine. One woman sells dolls and other toys for children to play with. Another woman sells baskets made from weaving together pieces of dried plants. These beautiful baskets hang from above the stall in large groups. Other women sell stone pottery, sharp knives and other kitchen tools. You can find many kinds of cloth, handmade crafts, tools, furniture and food at Ima Quetel. In this way, it is like many other traditional markets. However, one thing makes Ima Koitel special. Men are not permitted to sell here. Most of the products at the market are even made or grown by women. And women have managed Ima Koitel this way for hundreds of years. 
The stores or stalls at Ima Kaitel are controlled by families or clans. Mothers work together with the wives of their sons. Often, older women manage the stalls, and younger women in the family help with daily work, like selling and carrying goods. Each family brings their own special goods to the market. There are over 3,000 women who have official stalls to sell at the market. But there are also women who do not have a stall. These women walk around to sell food or other goods. Outside the market, you will also see many women selling on the street. They put blankets on the ground and lay out foods and flowers and other crafts for sale. Mostly, women shop and buy goods at the market. They sell their own goods and also buy goods for their family. But men also sometimes buy things there. And Ima Koitel is a very popular tourist destination. Thousands of travelers visit the market every year. They want to see the beautiful goods and foods. But they also want to see this place where women have so much control and respect. Nungshituvai Lishuram is 45 years old. She has worked at Ima Kaitel for over 25 years. She is married to a farmer and sells vegetables at the market. She told WIP News, I have been here for a long time. 27 years have gone by quickly. During that time, I have found a good job. I have found support that comes from belonging to this big women's group at Ima Kaitel. And I feel sure that I will be able to complete my children's education successfully. Ima Koitel gives women an important part in the Indian economy. Older women control a union that manages the market. They also set up a credit system for women at the market. The women can borrow money and pay it back to the union later. And they use this money to purchase or make goods. When the market is not busy, women make things and work while they wait for people to buy from them. They can also talk to each other about important issues. Ima Kaitel brings together women from many different families, tribes and places in society. But at the market, there is no conflict. The women work together for everyone's good. The history of Ima Koitel is long. Many people believe it was first started in the 16th century. In Manipur society, women have 
always had an important place in both trade and business. Because the market is so important, it is often called queen of markets. Throughout history, Imakaitel has been an important place. For example, in 1939, the women of the market helped fight against colonial British rule. The women refused to sell rice to feed British soldiers. Rice became difficult to find, and this weakened the colonial powers. Because of its important history, women have fought hard to keep Ima Koitel in business. In the 1990s, the government wanted to destroy the Ima Koitel to build a new modern supermarket. The women sat in protest, and they were able to make a deal with the government to protect the original building. The market of mothers in Manipur gives a very good place for women. In the market, women have power to make decisions for themselves. It is a place where they are safe. Most importantly, it is a place where women earn money for their families. As a result, they have more security. Their children can go to school. Imagine if there were more markets like Ima Kaitel. Would you want to visit Ima Koitel Market? Are there places in your community that are organized and controlled by women? Tell us what you think. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net. You can also comment on Facebook at facebook.com slash spotlight radio. The writer of this program was Sarah Leo. The producer was Luke Haley. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Market of Mothers. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.